Okay, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Moon. This is uh, episode 21, I'm pretty sure, or it's uh, 22, one of the two. Uh, so I am having to re-record this episode because Audacity sometimes tends to lag for some reason and desyncs all my audio. So, unfortunately, I have to record it. So I, I did see a little bit of the Kiawe trial, which sucks. Um, I did do some grinding. I got, um, I got Herdier up to 20. And subsequently, um, Yuki and Hedda Honcho and Sneaky all leveled up from grinding, uh, happy. So, we're just gonna head up and fight Kiawe now. I'm gonna see what this little Rotom has to say. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say. Okay, so we're just gonna go up then. And hopefully, I'm actually able to do stuff. I am Kiawe. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The trial of Kiawe. You will find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced to this point. But of course you will attempt it, right? Yes. Okay, let's get this trial started then. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin. Okay. Let me see them Marowak shake the ass. They got the moves. Yes. The middle one is different. Little Marowak. I'm gonna sneeze. Ooh. Oh boy. I've been sneezing all over the place. Alright, so now we have to face the Marowak. That was pretty easy. I mean, the Marowak looked completely different when they were dancing, though. So. Let's hope this bite does a lot. I'm pretty sure Alola Marowak is Ghost and Fire. So I don't think this thing can do much to me. And it flinched too, so... Wrecked, noob. Alright. That was easy. Surprisingly. Marowak was so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to battle you. Onward to the second dance. There's Hiker David. Let's keep an eye on Hiker David. He might he might be different. Now he's smiling. Uh Oh, they're smiling. Yeah. Now <laughs> he's using the hiker to attack me. Alola! Bruh, yeah. You challenged by Hiker David, bruh, yeah, go. Oh, it's got a Magmar. Ooh. Got himself a Magmar, huh? Alright. I'm gonna go for the bite, hoping for the flinch. It's not gonna one shot him. Oh, he went for Fire Spring. Now. Do I go for the bite, thinking it could potentially... Well, I have the chance to flinch him, too, so... If I, if I do kill him, he also has a chance to flinch. Clear smog? Does that hurt? Uh, it does a little bit. I don't know why you had to hurt me. That actually hurt my feelings, Magmar. Alright, that wasn't bad. Hey, Sneaky grew to 25, nice. All right, that wasn't that bad. My hiker friend was pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. Onward to the final dance. Hey, they're doing butt twerks. Booty twerking. And now it's a giant Marowak doing booty twerks. Well, it's the totem Pokemon, of course. But how? 
That was truly spectacular. Come, Totem Pokemon. Cool, so they have uh, Totem Marowak now, which is cool. All right, so Yuki. So, let's see. I got to this thing, and it has Detect. So, what I am going to do right away is go for the Roto Boost right now. Because it's going to Detect, probably. Oh, I went for Brick Break straight off the bat. Yeah, Citrus Berry, pop! Okay, so that's a syllable. So I'm going to try and go for more Roto Boosts here. To help me out with this trial. Hopefully it doesn't screw me over too much. I went for Venoshock. That hurt a little bit. That hurt a decent... Oh, he crit me! Are you fucking serious? Oh my goodness. Motherfucker crit me. Are you kidding? Yuki's dead because of a crit. That's really retarded. I am super upset. Very upsetty. Upsetty spaghetti, goddammit. He just decides it's okay to crit me. That's okay. I'll just keep critting all the time. Make me... Make me a happy bitch, huh? Put me in my place like the little bitch I am, right? Crit me all over the place. Yeah, fucking Marowak. I'll just go for the Roto Boosts. Heal up. He better not crit me again. I swear to God, he crits again. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping this fucking game. Don't you dare crit me. Okay. Now, I heal up with a super potion. And they shouldn't be able to fucking kill me because I have the roto boost. He went for Detect. That is fine. Yuki's dead. That makes me real sad. But, this is still sal salvageable. As long as I don't get crit again. I'm gonna go for these two more Roto Boosts. And hopefully, that keeps it so I don't die completely. Okay, so he went for that. Torment. So Flame Wheel's not going to do all that much unless he crits. And if he does crit, I should be able to live it. So I'm going to go for the one more Roto Boost. I'm going to heal. And then I'm going to start attacking. And I swear to God, if they crit me, I'm going to be the most upset person in the world. I will, I will throw something. I will, I will go get Yuki and throw him right now. Okay, now I'm gonna heal. I'm going to heal now, and the next turn I'm going to attack. That was really, really not fun. Okay, so nothing so far. We'll see how much the crunch does. We're good right now. We're gonna go for the crunch on the Marowak. See what it does. Oh, he went for detect. What a smart, smart Marowak. That's annoying. He can't go for detect two times in a row though. I wanna see how much this does. Oh, I can't use the same move two times in a row. Okay, well, I'm going to attack the Salazzle then. 
It should one shot, right? Yeah, it should one shot. So that's what Torment does. Can't attack two times in a row. So Salazzle is dead. Thank you. Thank God. Oh, Happy got to 21. Okay. Now I'm gonna heal here because I do not want to risk being critted. So if I get critted, I would be extremely upset. Okay, so you went for Detect. I'm gonna go for the Crunch now. It should do a lot of damage. Quote, should. It one shot. Thank God. Arbuck coming in clutch again. Jesus Christ, man. Great, now Yuki's dead, so I have to find another, another Pokemon to kind of replace him. Ah, God damn it. Whoa! Sp spectacular! With your keen observations, you were able to find differences in our dances, and you defeated a totem Pokemon with such ease. The totem Pokemon protected this fiery MZ. Now it is yours. Ah, uh, that was more stressful than it was worth. Jesus Christ. Okay. Continue on, please go on. This is how you use the fire type Z power. Okay. Thank you, my dear Marowak. For when you meet a Pokemon that would like to make your companion take these. Hey, give me quick balls. Nice. What's more, you may now use the right Pokemon, Charizard. Charizard will lend you his strength and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. Cool, cool. The Fighter MZ, you should show it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountain. It's time to... for us to return to our dance. The feeling of the Alolan people and Pokemon, and the true nature of Z-Power. The answer lies in our dance, so we must dance on. Alright, so uh, I'm sad. God damn it, Yuki is deaded. But it's okay, because we did not lose the Nuzlocke, and that's all that matters. So let's go over here. I'm gonna have to go put Yuki in the dead box real quick. And we'll see what the dealio is. I do not want you to land it. I do not. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Oh, no. Oh. So I think I have a couple of options that I could go for. Um. I could go for a fire type if I wanted to. Yeah, maybe I should save. Thank you, Rotom, for letting me know that I need to save. Alright. Thank you. Oh, can I go down to Route 7 now? Oh. Hello! You! You've passed Kiawe's trial? Well done! Okay, so that means now... You can now ride Charizard. In that case, why don't I tell you about a great way to play with your Pokemon in boxes. You ready for this? Press X. A Pokepelago. Okay. So now we have access to Pokepelago, which is cool. And I can go down here and get another encounter. So what shall we do? Shall we get an encounter? On Route 7. Nothing seems to be biting. Okay. Oh, that's a trainer. Whoops! I did not want to battle him, but uh, that's okay. I just wanted to get another encounter. 
What the fuck? Dude, you need to put on a shirt. Oh, he's got a basculin. Ooh. Well, I'm just gonna wing attack him anyways, but still, ooh. Oh, that thing is a little bulky. Oh, well, there you go. Goodbye, Basculin. Psyduck? Um, I guess I can bring in Happy for this. Might as well. Ah, I can't believe Yuki got critted. That's the one thing I was hoping not to happen. Okay, uh, I'm going to just go for takedown. Oh my lord. All the damage. The absolute wreckage of damage. I can just bite him now. There we go. Hey, Honcho's at 27. Nice. Okay, so let's get that encounter real quick. Uh, over here. Can I not go up this area? I cannot. Okay. Give me something good. Still waiting for an encounter. Oh, what is what is this? What is this? What is this? A, a diggle it. Cool. I get an all and diggle it. Well, I mean, I've never used a Lolan Diglett before. That did a lot of damage. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna catch this little bastard. Come on, get in the ball, just like I want you to. Perfect, all right. Okay, so I am gonna name him Fabio. And he is gonna go on the party. So, oh, he's uh, grounded in steel. Okay, well, it's a female. Let's, let's name it Fabia. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so that's the encounter on that route. What's up here? An item? Max Repel. Okay, I don't understand the point of that, but okay. Um, let's head back, I guess. Oh, damn it. I got into another encounter. Probably just run away from it now. Another Alolan Diglett. Alright. Alrighty. Go over here. Surf as much as I can. Okay. Go on over here. There we go. Let's go talk to the trial barricade dude. And then get this taken apart. And then we can actually go through. Alright. Captain Malo is the next one. But with that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As always, stay awesome. And check all the links in the description below. Leave a like on the video because it really helps me out. Spreads this video around. And uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.